Yo yo people who are going to don't know King Boss, welcome back to Runs Tech Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to update your B save your P5 mate. But before I do that, I can confirm that the chip that is used with the B save your P5 mate is exactly the same chip that's used inside of the Razer Wolverine version 2 Pro. I have this information because I sent an email to the people over at B Savior. They responded to me within a couple of hours and they confirmed that the chip is exactly the same, which means that you should not have any issues moving forward in terms of being banned or this product not working let's get cracking i'm going to share three links in the description the first link is going to be the beta firmware that you need to download which allows you to use the zim matrix at 1000 hertz with the b save p5 the second link is going to be where you actually go to update it so it's not an executable that you run on your pc anymore it's an actual html file um, that you run in your web browser now it does specify here that you have to use microsoft edge however i'm going to try this on google chrome and let you guys know or let you guys see what happens and then the third Third and final link is the actual website that you need to go to to update the B Savior P5 Mate. Step one, go to this website here. This is where you need to download the firmware. Now I'm going to click on that link here. Let me zoom in as much as I can. There's a link here. I'm going to click on that. The most recent one as of doing this video is the 13th of June. 2024. So I'm going to click on that one there. It's going to start downloading. So that's been downloaded. Perfect. I'm going to go to the next web page. So this is link number two. I'm going to know. Link number two has the manual. It has the website and it has the original firmware. I'm just going to go ahead and download the original factory firmware as well, just so I have it somewhere. That's downloaded there. Perfect. And then on top of that, I need to go to this website here. Again, it says we need to use Microsoft Edge, but I'm not going to use Edge at first. I'm going to see if I can get this done with Chrome. And if not, I'm going to move over to Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to click on that link there. It's going to take me to this website. Before you do anything on this website, you need to first plug the cable into your B-Savior P5 Mate. I'm going to put a picture on screen showing how you should do this. After that, the button on the right hand side of the B-Savior P5 Mate, you press and hold that button down. So keep holding it down whilst you plug the other end of the USB cable into your PC. And again, it probably should be a Windows PC. When you hear the sound, you let go. That's what I've just done now. I heard the sound and I let go off that button. I'm going to go to where it says connect B Savior P5 Mate device. I'm going to click on that. The only option that comes up is the thing that says update dash paired. Click on update dash paired, then click on where it says connect as well. And now it shows you this long number here. I'm guessing that's the way it says version. So that's the version number of the firmware that's currently on there. I'm going to click on this section on the firmware update that says choose file. This dialog window is going to come up. And from here, I'm going to navigate to my download folder because this is where I saved the files I had from earlier. Now we've got two files in here. I have two because I downloaded the original firmware plus the, the new beta firmware. The original firmware is at the top. The beta one, it actually ends in the word beta, B-E-T-A. I'm going to click open on that. And from there, all I'm going to do is click on the word or the button that says update and let it finish. So if I click update here, as you can see that the um, progress bar is almost finished. I'll just let this run. I think the only change I noticed, it doesn't say done or completed or anything, but the number here it changed i think it ended in four five before but now it ends in three eight so if i go back to the website where i downloaded them from the beta firmware actually ends in one seven three eight and if i go back to the firmware website it ends in also one seven three eight so that's the only notification it gives there after that you should just be able to unplug and you should be good to go so that's the process for updating your b savior p5 mate thanks for watching hopefully that was useful the links are in the description